Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection figure review. Just going back at a couple I've missed over the you know the past six months or so uh, since I've really started getting back into YouTube again. There's a there are a couple of figures that I have missed and picked up along the way, so I do want to you know share them and add to my video catalog and also just just share a few thoughts. So going with uh, Bestman Security Guard here, uh, known as Helder Spinoza. Got that sort of Fu Manchu moustache. Uh, VC233. This guy came as part of a, uh, I think it was Walmart exclusive in the US. Um, they did show up here at Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. Um, yeah, still didn't pick up the Imperial Gunner, and I'm still trying to track down um, Isdam Median, the, the other Vespin security guard. Um, R2-D2 I did pick up, fantastic figure, and Stormtrooper, that was kind of scarce, once they, uh, once they came out, people sort of grabbed them, and that was it, so yeah, nice Empire Strikes Back card there, and we'll get a look at the figure as he is, so here he is, a nice looking figure to be honest, you know, I've never thought of uh, Bestman Security Guards as being the most exciting in action figures, but they definitely do help fill the scene, uh, specifically with the uh, Carbon Freeze Chamber coming out uh, a little over a year ago, I think. It's been a little while now. No, it must be a couple of years now. Yeah, it'd have to be a couple of years, because I've definitely had that for about two years, over two years now. So, yeah, definitely a, a nice addition to the scene, help fill the scene a little bit. I did get two of this guy when he was sort of on special uh, with the purpose of doing a head swap but um, unlike some of the older versions just the uh, the hats aren't removable on these ones so I don't know what I'm going to do yet whether he just sort of stands facing away on the uh, on the display I'm not sure but it doesn't it doesn't really matter it's, it's cool I've got him maybe put him in a different different spot have one in the carbon freeze chamber Another one as part of the uh, Bestman Escape, you know, with a few figures put together there. So I'll just compare him to to this one that came out in all the way back in the Legacy Collection. You kind of see just height difference. New ones a little bit more sort of proportionate and uh, well scaled. And this one did have a removable cap, which I have just blue tacked on, just because it's uh, it only just sort of sits on there. But this one was, this one still holds up nicely. There is another one that came out um, as well, which I do have. But you can kind of see the uh, changes in articulation here. He does have the. Uh, the ball peg in the neck there which is nice does sort of show a little bit through the side there but that's not a big problem does have the ball joint in the shoulders in the elbows the upper the upper torso sort of swivel there which yeah it's it's okay it does it does the job like but you know in terms of twisting the character around and that said, these aren't two sort of action-orientated action figures, so <laughs> so to speak, so it's uh, not a big problem. Do have the ball hinges in the thighs there, so you can get up and do some super-duper security, security kung fu there. Does have a hinge in the knee, and hinge in the ankles, and a swivel at the ankle as well. Obviously all swivels as well. Um, yeah, elbows, wrists, both have ball hinges in them. It does come with the uh, blaster pistol here, which is kind of nice. You know, it's simple. And it does go in the holster nicely, which is always a good bonus. So I think the uh, I think they've done a good job on the uh, head sculpt there. Just if you're watching, you I am trying out the uh, black background, but uh, given that the uh, light corrections team seems to be making it a little bit too bright, I will uh, change that for my next review. Just wanted just wanted to test things out until I get a get some more lighting set up, some better lighting. 
So I think, yeah, having a lighter background will definitely help the figures pop a little bit more rather than overcompensating for the contrast of the black background, but that's okay. Got to try it. But again, that is, uh, what was the VC number again? Number 233. Mr. Helder Spinoza. Love to hear your thoughts, please sound out. Some nice details on this figure. Love to hear, love to hear what you guys think, honestly. Um, you pick these ones up. I, yeah, I, I do still need to get the other one. I will try and uh, need to add him to my list of eBay hunts. It's nice to sort of keep track of what I'm hunting for, so I will have to make sure he's on the list. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Please send out down below if let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you again for another review very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.